finally happened guys it finally happened 1000 subscribers can you imagine that wow thank you guys thank you guys for that 1000 subscriber on my channel it I, I can't believe it i'm just lost for words so this video is just basically to explain to you guys how my journey is how did i get to this 1000 subscriber and ways for you to do the same if you ever plan to become a youtuber or plan to reach that 1000 subscriber mark and you're kind of having problem with it so this is it man i'm going to tell you exactly what i know five top tips on how I got to my 1,000 subscriber mark. So before we begin, I just want to have a little background. It took me 805 days to reach 1,000 subscribers. That's nearly two years plus. I started early 2017 and now it's 2019. So yeah, you can't get an idea. So the reason why it took me so long is because I was kind of trying out a lot of things. I was experimenting a lot of stuff and I wanted to see what really works and what got me to that 1,000 mark. And here is my review. So I'll try to keep this video really short for you guys, okay? So let's begin. Number five. It's never about the money, really. It's never about the money and you should never focus about the money when it comes to YouTube, especially when you just started YouTubing. YouTubing. Well, you cannot really start earning until you hit the first 1,000 uh, subscriber mark. So either way, you're not earning until you reach that point. Even after you hit that 1,000 subscriber, you really can't earn that much unless somehow your one video is going to be viral and it's going to hit like 1 million views or 2 million views or potentially more than that, right? Then you can get a lot of income from the ads that generate from that. But apart from that, if you only get like a simple 100 uh, views to 200 views to maximum 500 views per video, I wouldn't say that you're going to be able to earn a lot for a living. Because for me, let's say I upload a video and you only have like 500 views per video, I only generate like what, 60 cents or maybe to a dollar, 60 cents to a dollar, right? This is in USD by the way. So it's not really a lot, to be honest, one year you can only earn like how much, you know? So I wouldn't recommend if you're going to YouTube for the money. Remember, this is all about passion, this is all about what you really want to do as a hobby and keep at it. Number four. One of the main things that a lot of people have been telling me, especially on YouTube, right, is gears don't matter, story does. Which is very true because at this point, I can already see it. It doesn't matter if you have a nice camera, it doesn't matter if you even have a light, right? Because to be honest, this is all just cosmetic stuff to make it look good, right? Okay, that's a little bit bright. But you get what I mean. When I first started, I only have a compact camera and my old iPhone 6S, which by the way, couldn't even do any screen recording that time. And I was doing Pokemon Go. So you can imagine how much screen recording I have to do. Why is this getting so bright? Better, right? God, why was that so bright? I, don't, I, I had to use a third party for that. And when I'm recording for Pokemon Go, most of my footage always get crashed and I don't have any footage at the end of the day so kind of leave me hanging you get what i mean so i was kind of struggling especially at the start it was difficult but definitely not unmanageable if you're just doing vlogging with just a camera trust me nowadays phones especially iphones or any uh samsung camera or even oppo they're really good the uh, video quality is really good for even for any kind of vlogging material so all you have to do is make sure that you do not focus on the material but the story itself and what you're going to present and you enjoy presenting it. Keep that in mind. It's very important. Number three. Now this one is very important, especially to me because it took me a while to figure this out, but don't be afraid to try anything. And I mean anything, okay? So if you want to try streaming, go for it. You want to do product review, go for it. You want to do vlogging, go for it, right? At this point in YouTube, right, it's been out for nearly how many years? I'm pretty sure every single kind of video is already out there. It's a question of how you're going to make it different, you know? How you're going to make it your stuff? How does it make it so unique that everyone else's would want to watch yours instead of others? But that is the main thing, okay? You don't want to make a video where someone already made a certain video and copy it exactly because that's a bit like, oh, I'm watching two videos at the same time, but this one is better because it's original. So don't be afraid to try anything. And if even this means like visual effects. So if you're like a visual effect kind of person in a video or you want to try something new, you want to try because recently I, there was a Wizards Unite game, right? And I was trying, uh, I was trying like operating and stuff. Like that. Let's go. That, that is kind of fun, you know, to try out. You want to try all kinds of fast motion. Look at this stuff. So you want to try slow motion, you know, do it. You know, you want to do visual effects with a dragon up here, pop, you know, or fire flames everywhere. Go for it because 
the world is an oyster, especially on the YouTube side. Anything is possible, and at this point, a lot of videos nowadays that get viral are very unique. They are its own kind. Some say they are very stupid on a lot of stuff. You know, some viral videos shouldn't be viral to be honest, but you know, it's the internet. Everyone loves stupid stuff, you know. Just make it very, very special and that's what you want to do. For me, I have already tried out a lot of things like vlogging, product reviews, Pokemon Go, Pokemon Let's Go on Switch, which I have to stream through another device. You know, I gotta buy that device for that. To be honest, I had to try out all these things to see what really works for me. So far, I really like Pokemon Go and vlogging. So I'm still gonna keep doing these two things. The other stuff, not so much unless I really have the need to do it. Number two, you have to make it unique. You have to make it so unique, like I said in the previous point, which makes this point a little bit more valid, that it has to be different. You have to stand out from everyone else because if I make a Pokemon Go video and someone else make a Pokemon Go video about the same thing, you have to make it so that people want to watch yours. Like maybe try to find a way that you can get people to say, hey, I think his video would be better or his video is better, you know, because I'm going to click it. At the end of the day, you just want that click, you know, just click it, you know. Even if it's just a simple idea. Trust me, even if it's just a simple idea, try it out because you never know. Any kind of videos can be unique in its own way based on what kind of audience you're going to get. The reason why I brought up this unique thing is because my top video right now, right now, is my Gear S3 video. That's right, my top video as a Pokemon Go content creator is this watch. Okay, weekly summary, how nice. So, you can imagine, right, when I created this video reviewing this watch, one video, it has the most views for my channel and I don't know why. To be honest, I didn't really plan on making this video for this watch until the day I was started running and then I was thinking, hmm, I just bought this watch. And then I realized that when I was looking on YouTube, like how do you run, when you run with this watch, what does it tell you and stuff? No one really had that info. So I thought, why not I just do a running review with the watch and boom. I mean, it doesn't have like 100,000 views obviously, but it's definitely still my highest view count for a Pokemon Go uh, creator and I have almost like 200 videos right now so yeah you can kind of understand that you have to try out all these things because you never know what might hit so a lot of people have been telling me hey since your product review is good right why not keep doing that I'm like thinking no I don't think it works that way it's like if I made another watch video I'm pretty sure it's not going to be great unless it's really hitting the mark for everyone that is looking for it. So far for me, Pokemon Go videos has been a little bit difficult for me to get out in the open and get the most views for it, but it's the most consistent views, not gonna lie. Reason is because I'm competing with a lot of other YouTubers out there. A lot of great YouTubers out there. So I'm definitely one of the lower end people, but I just love make, playing the game. I just love making the videos. I love reading all your comments and all your feedbacks about my videos. It just makes me want to keep going, you know? So that's the passion I really like. So that's why I'm going to keep going uh, and keep doing what I'm doing um, with my channel. Maybe one day, maybe one day I'll change something else. Maybe I might not do Pokemon Go in the future. Who knows, right? I don't know this channel could change anything, right? It's called It's All Relative. Anything that's relative, I'm going to change, right? But until then, I'm still going to keep doing what I'm doing. But if you guys are watching this and you want to try something out, maybe right now you have a Dyson hairdryer. My mom gave me this idea. But you have a Dyson hairdryer and then you want to make a review, go for it. <laughs> and number one. Now this is the last step which I did not actually follow because number one is try collaborating. Collaborating with anybody, especially YouTubers or famous people, even Instagram famous people can get you the subscribers you want. Easy subscribers or even the views that you want. Because to be honest, people are attracted to famous people and that famous people will attract more crowds, right? So. You kind of get the idea, right? So for me personally, I don't really have any famous YouTube friends, especially where I live. So it's very hard for me to collaborate with anybody. And also not to mention, the main reason is because I gave myself the challenge for my own channel to reach 1,000 subscribers without the help of anybody. And that includes, well, anybody. Because to be honest, I wanted to tr prove to myself that I can reach 1,000 subscribers without anyone's help, but just my own content and my own wit and my own passion and my own hard work, right? You have no idea how many nights I've been working and editing until like 2 a.m. in the morning, and then I just upload it, and the next day my video is only like 60 views, and I'm like, hmm, maybe I shouldn't work so hard. But no, you should. You should always be passionate about every single video you make. So 
try collaborating, you know, you never know, in, especially if you're in the US, good for you, that's Casey Nicer out there if you're vlogging. As trainer tips, there is uh, especially, I don't know uh, about makeup tutorial people, I'm pretty sure they're all in the US, you know, so good for you guys, but for now, if you really need someone to collaborate with, try find someone that you could work with, you know. I'm pretty sure your country have some famous YouTubers that you can contact. Now that I reached 1000 subscribers, I'm still lost for words, really. I do plan to keep going. I, I mean, next target is 2000, right? Then 5000 and 10,000, right? So who knows? Maybe I might reach that sooner than I think. But until then, I'm going to keep going. Hopefully you guys are still willing to follow me on my adventure and follow all my videos. And you know, I love the support guys. So if you haven't subscribed to my video and you enjoy all this stuff that I just mentioned and you guys are motivated somehow, subscribe, leave a comment and leave a like guys. So anyway, thank you guys so much again for watching this video and supporting my channel and I really really appreciate it. Hope you guys were able to manage your channel if you're just starting out as a YouTuber and I wish you all the best. Take care guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!